We already covered extrusion and blend tool. Now we will go to solid revolve. Revolve uh, is basically a shape that it's being rotated along some axis, as you can see on this simple animation. So when I click on it, I need to follow two steps. First would be create a boundary line. So maybe I will move to the left elevation and try to draw something. As you can see, there is this uh, circle, crossed circle, that informs me that I cannot draw because work plane is at a very sharp angle. It's because I started from reference plane and then moved to left and Revit didn't switch to the, to the correct reference plane. So I have to manually select set and select left and right. Okay. And now I can draw some kind of shape. Let's say we want to create some kind of vase. Okay. And in the other step, I will draw an axis line. Axis line is a straight line. Of course, it can be on in some angle, but you know, it, it has to be a line. It can be any other shape, obviously. So I draw a line here. And one, once both of these elements are being created, I click finish. And now such shape is being created. If I go back to modify this revolve and move slightly axis from the shape, there will be opening exactly in the middle of it. It's a solid extrusion, so of course we can add some more elements to it by, for example, mm, I will move this axis here and change this geometry by creating some offsets, giving uh, this vase a thickness, for example, of 10 millimeters. And by creating such a narrow profile, I can work, I can create other shape. Also an axis line, it it don't have to go across the entire shape, it can be much more shorter, even this line will do. And that's all. Now I have hollow shape ready. And uh, when it comes to the working with Revit, the, uh, the main task is basically going between views and know, knowing which view is best for us. In case of Revolve, in my case, the best way was to going for elevation. In other cases, there will be other views. I cannot create many much other views except for a section, but basically that's it. I cannot create a new levels or, or other things like in the project. I can create only a section and work only on the existing elevations view. Mm, so you see this option elevation is even great out only section on the view tab is active. And the other thing is that Revit uh, automatically switches active plane depending on which view we are in. When I'm on the reference level, when I so show show the um, the reference plane, it will be act the reference level will be active. Maybe it's best to show it uh, next to each other with a 3D view. So I will select this one, WT window style, Z ZA here. And here I will show reference plane, right? Here is the reference plane active. When I go to the front view, right? And click show. Here now the uh, this front 
view front back uh, reference plane is active if I go to left right now the the left reference uh, reference plane is active so I hope you you get it what I mean what I'm trying to say and uh, only because I first select revolve and then move to other view Revit was confused on which plane I am right if I would first open a front view and select revolve I wouldn't have such problem because Revit would already know that the front view is active so I can model on it it's a small tip it's not uh, that important because we always can switch to another work plane but we can also remember that Revit automatically activates the reference plane that is best for the particular default view.